What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony and this is Death Road to Canada. We are getting so close to the end of this marathon mode run. Not super close, I guess, but like closer than we ever have in the past and we've got 43 food left. We do have to be careful with that. We'll visit this trader camp, but we'll probably not be buying anything. Maybe gas, but doesn't look like there's any for sale. Might recruit this person. Having a fourth person would certainly be helpful. This is a very tall area that we're in. It's a, it's a strangely tall area. Let's talk to this guy, see what he looks like. Terrible loyalty, bad shooting. Let's leave him behind. All right. And we've got someone selling medical supplies that we don't really need, but might as well take a look. We do have to tell someone to cool it if we can. We've got a firearms coach. Let's use... Oh. Oh. There's no option to leave for now, so we're going to use charm. And hope that we can tell this person to cool it. Absolutely. we got a blade master. The group meets a man who is carrying many swords. They clank around as he moves. One day I'll make the finest zombie slicing sword ever seen. I just have to figure out how to make swords first. I'll sell you some I found. Tell him to cool it. Got to get that charge back up if we can. Okay. And we need to conserve all of our food. Uh, someone let me know in the comments yesterday that we're pretty much going to want to skip as many of the last couple day encounters as we can. We are going to shoot this deer to get more food. We need enough food to get through those. So, uh, oh, uh, Rambo takes a shot at the deer from one of the car windows. He makes the shot bagging the deer while also going against any sense of hunter ethics. The group doesn't know much about preserving game, but they clumsily cook some meat to pack into the car. That's plus 12 food. Okay. Yeah. We're going to need as much food as we can get so we don't have to fight through the times two zombie crowds at the end. This is where it would be great to have a uh, cool it charge. Unfortunately, we don't, but it's not that big of a deal. It trains our fitness. It trains our strength. It does a couple other things too, but most importantly, it saves us the five food we're about to spend to get this. Either way, we're saving one food right now. Uh, Denisha refuses to eat it and loses morale, but Guadalupe and Rambo both got morale, so still a net positive. Okay. 50 food with eight days to go. Feeling really good. Always be looting while driving. On the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Let's go to the swarmed rest stop. There might be a canister of gas there, and we are about to run out of that. So, definitely need a little bit of gasoline. All right, uh, roadside nightmare. The group finds a rest stop along the road, completely overwhelmed with angry undead. What could have happened here? Death swarm, irritated afternoon, attempt to explore. We've got a lot of guns now. Denisha isn't the greatest at shooting them, but we'll let her keep the Uzi. Guadalupe is keeping Big Dog. And Rambo's going to have ammo in his minigun in just a second here. What can we move around? I'm not seeing anything stackable, so I'm just going to trash the rebar. And I'll give her the nail board just to have some empty space in the car as well. All right. That should be good. I wish there was an option to choose the side of the car you got out on so you could always have a safe way of getting out of the car. In this case, it probably wouldn't have mattered, but there are some times where one side of the car is totally empty and the other is just absolutely swarmed and you have to get out on the swarmed side for whatever reason. You can get in on either side you want, but there's no get out on passenger side option. We are going to kill as many of these zombies as we can, and then we are going to explore in relative peace. That's the plan anyway. Denisha, what are you thinking? That was, that was a bad choice on her part. At least she is a big bruiser and has a little extra health. And we've got plenty of medical supplies. I mean, it's only six, but plenty of medical supplies in the car. Almost all of these zombies are dead. 
And then we'll probably go inside. We'll look up top, see if there's any more stragglers up there above the building. But I think we're going to be good. Oh, there's a lot of them up here. All right. We'll kill these ones too for safety. I think they wouldn't have even have noticed us, but it's better to kill them now when they wouldn't have followed us than later when they might have gotten a little more riled due to the darkness and then followed us and presented much danger. This isn't too bad. Mega Mall is great. We've got guns if we need them. And we really haven't yet. Uh, at least... I haven't needed to switch to guns. They have occasionally, but we have Big Dog and we haven't even shot it. So, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's go inside the rest stop. Probably gonna have to step in and right back out and lure some of the zombies out. It's actually not that many. Wanted to play it safe and just move out regardless. Just in case, uh, like, Waiting to see how many were in there and then coming out would have been much more dangerous because the group, the, the other two group members can block me from leaving through the door. And I don't want to do that. This is going fine. We got three rooms to explore in here. I'm really hoping for some gasoline, but I'm not exactly expecting to get more than maybe 30 if we get any at all right now it's not looking great except for you know toilet gasoline you can you can pretty much rely on maybe a little bit more toilet gasoline would be nice if we can't get a full canister here we got one more room after this one we're gonna come out of here with at least two gas up to 20 it could be worse I'm just hoping we don't have to spend too long on foot. Okay, there's a big crowd in there. Let's lure them out slowly and then check out what kind of loot we've got inside there. I didn't get a chance to look. I saw a gun. I didn't see any gas, but that doesn't mean there isn't any. I saw a tennis racket, which I don't particularly care about. I see Denisha making some poor choices. Uh, I'm going to run this way, so she runs this way as well. There we go. She needs to heal up now. That's for certain. She's down to the same amount of... She's down to uh, Guadalupe's starting health. I wish they wouldn't do that. Run into the crowd like that. That's our... That's a majority of the damage we're taking is because the... Uh, oh, two canisters of gas. That was incredible. 80, we aren't going to run out anytime soon. As long as our car holds up, we're going to be just fine. Plenty of food here, too. Look at that. A shotgun. We don't need it. We, we bought one. A good one. More ammunition. We are totally set as long as our car doesn't break down. As long as we can fix it when it does. Really. I don't know what kind of condition the car's in. I think probably medium. I, I know I went over to that screen. I wasn't paying attention to that. I was looking at how many days there were left. Alright, back to the car though. That's all we got here. So let's head out. All right, what condition is the car in? Two engine. And we do have someone with neutral mechanical, right? Oh, Denisha has positive mechanical. We might be able to fix this van. I'm gonna take a little bit of a drink here. Denisha's healed up completely. But we are down to two medical supplies. Lucky candy bar. The group finds a candy bar on the side of the road. It's fun sized. Who gets to eat it? Denisha, she needs morale. Her morale increases. Nothing else happens, unfortunately. Okay. This thing is broken. She only had... She had uh, two positive morale. Not one positive morale. And then it goes right back down to it. Come on. I don't know, guys. We got a familiar face here. It's Trevor. He's a berserk martial artist. And we were absolutely going to uh, recruit him to the team. This is the first opportunity we've had to recruit someone good in a long time. He might die soon. Because if he takes one hit, he's dead. But we're going to get the best use out of him that we can. They're all wearing sweatbands. Uh, and all uh, bandits appear all wearing sweatbands and all super buff. Even their dog, they demand protein powder. They will accept 20 food to pass safely. We are going to challenge them to a pose off because Guadalupe can absolutely destroy them. She challenges the bandits to a pose off. 
He does an incredible flexing routine honed by training. The bandits clearly lose and have to let the group go due to the bodybuilder's code. Trevor's morale increases by two. Very nice. Cabin with wood stove. Um, We can probably send Guadalupe out to cut the wood. Oh, Guadalupe actually has three health. I forgot about that because, uh, because of the genie. That's awesome. We, we can boost Trevor's morale by having Guadalupe go out and chop wood, and I don't think it makes her tired. On the other hand, it might make her tired, and then we are in a very bad position, so I'm just going to go to sleep. I don't think his morale is going to drop substantially. Just Rambos is, I guess. The group is blocked by another survivor group that set up a barricade to protect themselves. They are distrusting and heavily armed. The person they send to talk is extremely annoying. Who should try to deal with them? We're not going to take a detour. We are too low on gas. Despite having just picked up 80 additional gas, we're back down to 33 again. So, uh, who do we have with good composure and loyalty, I want to say? Um, if it's just composure, we got to send Denisha. If it's loyalty and composure... It doesn't matter which one we send between Denisha and Rambo. Since it's definitely something to do with composure, we're going Denisha. And we'll see how that goes. Denisha talks to the annoying representative. She manages to keep to control her temper. The group is let through the barricade after some further annoyance. It's just composure. Very nice. We're doing well. We didn't have to use any more of our medical supplies. Trading on the death road, it's been a very long and winding road to Canada. The group is now only a couple days away. The group runs into a trading camp. You have 60 food left. We'll visit the trader camp, but we probably aren't going to buy anything. Maybe gasoline if it's available. It doesn't look like it is. Mobile gun show. Let's demand to see the good stuff just because we rarely get that opportunity. Uh, leave for now. Thank you very much. None of that is good stuff at all. The last anime sale. We're gonna buy no anime. I would get the Windstar, but seeing as we are, one sec, seven days away from Canada, that means we need, what's that? Eight times seven is like 56 or something like that. Yes, 56. We need 56 food to get there. We have 60. We might pick up an another few in the next few days, but I'd rather not waste a bunch. We are going to declare a pose off. Just because I definitely know we can win and there's no reason not to. And Guadalupe's morale increased. Very nice. He burst into dust. So, you know, not nice for him. But we, we don't particularly mind. It's not the worst way to go, that's for sure. Gonna start the car back up and keep on moving. Alrighty. I bet it is going to be cold for everyone. Too cold for everyone in Canada. Stop bringing us down. Mall of the Dead. The group is driving through a ruined city when they end up being surrounded at all sides by a horde. They are funneled into the only place that looks defendable. A ruined mall. Siege alert. There's no escape. Horde size. No hope. Late morning. 1.5 hours. Try to survive. We don't have enough gasoline to bring the chainsaw, but... We do have Big Dog, so we will use it. What's Trevor's stats looking like? I don't care what I just said. Um, I don't think he needs a weapon. He definitely can't use a gun. I think based on his strength, he'll be better off using Kung Fu over any of the weapons we have for him. But I will give him the option of using a nail board. Okay, let's try this out. I don't care if Trevor dies, to be honest. Save us a little food. Um, yeah. Okay, so far so good. Not too many zombies. By so far so good, I mean it's a pretty safe start. We just have to watch for them spawning. Mall cops die like nobody's business. I threw a pipe bomb completely by accident. And then had to lure everyone away from it. And 
got hit in the process. Um, oh well. I thought I was on Mega Mall? I was not. I was on the, uh, the pipe bomb. So, oops. The, the mall cops are dead, which is distracting the zombies, which is really nice. But we do need to kill the zombies as quickly as possible so that they don't become overwhelming once they're no longer distracted. Everybody is on either, I believe. Oh, they're on smashing? I will set them to either. Okay, Rambo feels the need to shoot. I'm glad I realized that that was the case. He's really blasting through them with the minigun. I think we're okay. I think I'm gonna switch back to smashing, and if things look bad, I'll switch back to either. The minigun takes care of him so quickly, though. Pretty nice. This is going well. We aren't hurt. I mean, Guadalupe got hurt, but that was my fault for throwing the pipe bomb. And the mall cops are gone, and the siege is almost over. I'm going to move, and I guess switch back to either. We're a little cornered. Better safe than sorry. The siege is over. We can now try to escape. Uh, first, we're going to kill some zombies. I'm going to switch them back to smashing. Denisha's doing a terrible job with the gun. Being right here, we do uh, lure most of the zombies into the safe zone against that wall, which is lucky. So now we can slowly kill them as they trickle around the wall. We're going to be fine, as long as Rambo doesn't run into the crowd. Which is uh, a big a big if. I didn't say if. I, saw, I said as long as, but it's a big if whether or not he's going to run into the crowd. He does it a lot. We're going to use the last of our medical supplies to heal up Guadalupe, unfortunately. But it's not the end of the world. Trevor dying is unfortunate, but it's his own fault. At least we don't have a fourth mouth to feed now. I said earlier, I don't care if Trevor dies. He's an arbitrary, familiar face, martial artist, uh, berserker, and he didn't add much to the team. He added combat, and apparently it wasn't that helpful. We're not going to take any umbrellas with us. Yes, let's go. 353 zombies destroyed. We're going to hit 100,000 in no time. Alrighty. The car's going to break down. Luckily, we do still have Denisha, our mechanic. Oh, no, we're out of gas. Oh, boy. That's not good. Okay. Um, We're going to be out of gas right after this, and we have no medical supplies, which means we're not going to be able to heal up from all the damage we're going to take while on foot. We can't really gain much more Al. Rambo could gain one, so let's go with... Fitness would go to no one. Um, shooting would go to Guadalupe and Denisha. Rambo plus one to max health would go to Rambo. I'm going to go with shooting. Okay. Good enough. Guadalupe has very good combat stats. We are out of gas. It's... Still a promising run. Reluctant bandits. Denisha expected this. That's what she's around here for. She's gonna... Oh, Rambo reasons with them. No, Denisha expected this. It's a better option. Denisha foresaw the, an ambush, so she set her plans up shortly before the bandits appeared. When the bandits make their demands of Denisha, the other members sneak behind them in a counter ambush. They're surprised by this and surrender. Rambo's morale increases. Okay. Roughing it, the group finds a nice spot to camp for the night in the woods. Wind and rain move in during the night, catching the group by surprise. It is a miserable night with no car to retreat to. Denisha's morale decreases. Everybody's morale decreases by two, which is pretty rough. The group eats a decent meal. Okay, that's fine. We can handle it. Car. Dirt road to out of here. The group sees the dirt road stretch out into the distance there are a lot of wrecked cars and a lot of zombies at the end is one car that looks like it might start we got a death swarm not too bad it's only calm and it is nightfall which means i don't think calmness is going to be very calm 
I don't know why Rambo doesn't want to use his Rambo knife, but I guess I'm gonna stop trying to force it on him. Let's, let's do this. We want to pick up as much gas as possible. We might be able to hold out in this new vehicle until the end of the run, and that would be excellent. Okay, they are pretty calm. That's surprising. It's nightfall. There's a lot of them. It's a late game in marathon mode. I'm feeling like we could get through this. We do need the gas though. So things could get rough if I spend too much time looting. No gas in a car yet. Oh, maybe this one? Yeah, all right. Uh, there we go. I think it was 16 gas total. I got 12, someone else got four. Because it was so close to the exit, it was like glitching and not letting me do it all at once. A medical supply or two would be a fantastic find. But again, gas is more important. Gas prevents us from getting hurt because we mostly get hurt out on the road. That might not be true for this run, or when we're on foot. Um, that might not be true for this run because we have actually been getting hit a lot in the looting encounters. I think mostly Rambo running into crowds and then just me with Guadalupe in that siege accidentally throwing the pipe bomb. 68 gas is not very much, but we didn't use any ammo, so that's nice. Can shooting practice, we are good on shooting. I don't want to lose morale for the sake of training just Denisha. It just doesn't seem worth it. Leave the camp. All right, six days until Canada. Oh boy. Waking the city, the group drives into a new city. Noises from the car have already started to draw attention from the undead. It's a sardine-packed, irritated swarm in the morning. We've got another bookstore where we can train a random stat for everybody. Let's try that out. I don't really know what the benefit of going to an office building is, and I don't want to try it now. Let's get out while they're still far away from the car. Let's bust through these guys. All right, I want to kill this crowd directly around the car, and then I want to, of course, start looting as fast as we can. It's early in the morning, and it's we're, we're probably not going to be here too long, but I'd much rather get this done as quickly as possible than stick around for a while. Okay, so far so good. We have got no loot. We have got no buildings in sight to loot. Oh, there's one. We don't really need food, so medical supplies would be great, and the book, if we could train our medical ability, I think, like if it's like a big book of medicine or whatever that medicine book is called, that would boost one of our uh, medical abilities up high enough to only use one medical supply per heal. And then if we found just one medical supply, we'd have enough to heal someone if anybody got damaged. That's just basic arithmetic. Assuming I'm right about the ability to heal with one if we train one. Ooh, I like that Rambo got the rifle ammo that goes exactly where we need it. Another bathroom, but nothing in it this time. I'd love some algae spray. That seems like it'd be beneficial to have around especially if we don't have any medical supplies. And ouchie spray doesn't rely on your medical ability, so it wouldn't matter whether or not we trained someone. Any more rooms? One more room. We haven't really gotten much use out of this house yet. We didn't get much use out of that house at all. Let's get out of here and find something better. We got a bookatorium. We'll give it a look. We're probably gonna have to lure a large crowd of zombies out of it, and then we'll go explore the last block after. Here we go. Here they come. All right, so far it's totally fine because I'm not gonna say so far so good anymore because I say it too much. All right. We need to find the functioning book without breaking it. What do we got? I don't see any books. This is a, a very sparse selection in this bookstore. I see a couple up there. Gotta backtrack a little and avoid that final aisle getting um, filled with zombies so that we have an escape room. We might actually be able to just escape forward here. Yeah, we did it. And this way, I was 
trying to keep the 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 space between the aisle and the wall far to the uh, right side there open in case we needed to re like retreat and not have to go through a crowd it we ended up controlling the crowd enough though so didn't even have to do that but it would have been successful had it come to that which just goes to show my increasing ability to play this game I hope I know one of those oh please stop destroying the books yes handyman's Bible that trains are mechanical which if we happen to not run out of gas next time uh, the car the car is about to break down we'll be able to repair it instead more gasoline decreasing our chances ever so slightly of running out of gas let's see what's on that top block and then of course get out of here just a medical supply to if you if you like me game all right there will be something in here there's at least food so that's good we will have at least one more trading camp before the end of the run and if we have a major surplus of food I will feel totally fine trading away some of it even if it is just for like medical supplies or something which the closer we get to the end of the game the less we'll need but if we do see I say that because if we get damaged at all in the final sieges it's likely that we'll just completely die whereas earlier in the game there's you have a chance of taking damage without actually dying it, it's very unlikely that if during any of the end game things, except maybe the final one, if we take it and then you can't heal with medical supplies anyway after that. Um, but if during the close to the border siege or the one after it, we take damage, there's very little chance that we survive. I don't know how many different ways I can phrase this, but my aim is to say all of them really drive that point home. Man, a lot of forking pads here. Ouchie spray? Junk. Can't catch a break on the healing. But on the other hand, if we do take damage and survive it, we would like to be able to heal up afterward. Three gas. Very slowly. Gaining an ability to not run out. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. That was lucky. I'm going to go ahead and kill these zombies before attempting to go into this final house, question mark. Yes, final house. Unless there's another block up top, but I don't think there is. It's hard to tell from where I'm standing at the moment. Let's go to the right and regroup. There is not another block up there. All right. Now that they're all on one side of us, we'll be able to cut through them much more easily without worrying about getting sandwiched between two groups and we're good let's go to the last house here still hoping for medical supplies though doesn't seem too likely okay well it's not debris which is what I was expecting it's a very large house the outer appearance was deceiving in that regard what do we got here food and pistol ammo not what I was hoping for. All right, let's leave this room quickly. They are very irritated zombies. I guess it's late afternoon at this point. It's mid afternoon. And they started out as irritated. Okay, what do you got on your bookshelf? Bullets. Can't read those. Bullets. I guess those will probably come in handy if we have medical supply in the kitchen thank you very much in case you need to treat a, a burn it happens my old apartment had a bathroom connected to the kitchen um, a very small bathroom that was also connected to the outside it was the only way to get into our backyard and you had to go to, through the bathroom to do it, but the bathroom was so small that you couldn't open both doors 
at the same time unless you were very careful. So you'd have to close yourself into the bathroom and then open your way out into the backyard if you wanted to go that way. It was very strange. But we kept a first aid kit in there because it was the most convenient place to put it. Because A, it was next to the kitchen in the event of a burn occurring, and B, you didn't have to go upstairs to get it. Most injuries are more likely to happen downstairs, I would imagine, because mostly you just go upstairs to go to sleep and get ready in the morning. Let's start the car and get out of here. And um, lastly, it was more likely that somebody would be going to the bathroom upstairs than downstairs because that was the only way to get into the backyard. So that, that bathroom was l occupied less often. We are back up to 63 food. We have two medical supplies, which means we can heal a wound if we have one, but we do not. We all caught up on our reading. Our mechanical is getting pretty high. That is nice. Okay, and that is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and if you want to help me reach my goal of 100 subscribers by the end of January, we are oh so close to that. I will see you in the next episode.